Hey everybody, it's been a long time and I just wanted to share a dream that I had. It was about last month of one of my pastors and um, it was amazing. So before I start, I'm going to pray and then we're going to get into this word. Today's word is going to be Acts 2-4. Father God, I thank you for this day. I thank you for my family. I thank you for everything you're doing, Lord Jesus. I pray that you surround us and astound us with miracle signs and wonders. And Holy Spirit, we thank you for filling us up. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so I had this amazing dream of my pastor, Jeremy Nelson, who's in San Diego, California, Fire and Glory Ministries. Amazing if you haven't checked them out. Um, we were in this dream and he was sitting down, but he was illuminated with a bright light within, from within. You could see his skin lightly on the outside, but everything inside was like a bright gold, you know, like a light, literally filled. And we were all like, whoa, we can see you. You're filled with light. And he simply just looked at us and like, that's not me. It's God. And um, that was it. That was all the dream was. But in Acts 2, 4, it talks about how the Holy Spirit fills us up. They were filled with the Holy Spirit, okay, with power from the Holy Spirit, and they have the gift of tongues. And I just wanted to share that when you receive the Holy Spirit, you're not, it's not just something that you're imagining. He is tangible. He's real. And as you continue to seek and spend time with him, the more you'll illuminate with him. Though the naked eye might not really see him, but your spiritual eye, when you kept, catch a glimpse, there is power. You're filled with the glory of God, literally. So I just want to encourage people to tap into that relationship um, with the Holy Spirit. It's, there's something that has been um, tough to find, and it's places where they really embrace the Holy Spirit churches that really embrace the Holy Spirit, the flow of the Holy Spirit. And um, and, and it's really hard uh, to find because I think that a lot of the church has been turned away from really allowing him to move. It's so much about doctrine and head knowledge and so far away from God's heart and the presence of God. And um, so that's all I'm going to say is just tap into that relationship with the Holy Spirit deeper and deeper. Even myself, I'm like, man, I need more Holy Spirit. Like even though he speaks and stuff, it's just not enough. Because I know that we're in a time right now where we have to walk in power everywhere we go. Not just for ourselves to see the miracle signs and wonders, but for the souls that are lost to experience God's goodness and glory in his favor. So, and that's what we're about, bringing the kingdom here on earth and displaying it for his glory. So Father God, I thank you for all that you're doing in this time. And I ask that you bless every person who receives this word with a filling of the Holy Spirit. If they don't have it, Lord, I pray that you fill them up, Lord Jesus, experience, experiential knowledge, Lord Jesus, of the Holy Spirit, filling them up tangibly in the name of Jesus. Okay, until next time. Next time I'm going to be talking about being freed from the Jezebel spirit. Um, and also I wanted to talk about a couple other things that um, I experienced, but I'm going to wait till next time. I hope you guys have a blessed week and a blessed weekend.